peace, 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 brothers and sisters, gods and goddesses, kings and queens. I showed you in the second video the African ancestry. Please, 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 please get this. Get it. Get involved. Stop laying back and just go on with the system. That's what most of you are doing. And some of you are so co-native and dishonest. This word co-native dishonest sounds like a bad word. It's not. It's basically that you are so stubborn to yourself that you don't want to believe in nothing else. If you do the African ancestry thing, you can find out possibility that you might be indigenous. You get a peace of mind. You get a peace of mind. We must escape from the brainwash system of things. It's not a bad thing. Dealing with the brainwash system things if you just constantly go along with everything which you think you know. Okay? Remember, I'm not here to sit up there and, and, and crush religion in any kind of way. Only religion that I will crush and, 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 and try to set the record straight. And it's got nothing to do with white folks. But white people's ancestries, their, their, their descendants, basically fooled everybody. They fooled themselves, fooled their, their future, future families, which is now. And still doing it to this day. You know what I'm saying? But now you have some melanated people who's brainwashed into that conception. My thing is this, and this is what I've learned in a, throughout my studies. You got the good, the bad, and the ugly. We already understand it. That whatever religion that you're in, and if it's making you a better person, you have took this religion, this faith, and you have catapulted yourself into a better human being. And you will be able to be humble, loving, and kind. That's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, and it's a, it's a great thing. But let's use common sense. Let's use common sense for a second, okay? It's not about bashing any religion. It's about understanding the religion that you accepted. The religion that you accepted. The religion that you accepted doesn't accept, accept you for who you are. Do you got to downgrade yourself, your family, your friends? Do you got to stop trying to figure out who you are? Who, what is your, your identity? Does the religion system to tell you, oh, it doesn't matter, or it doesn't make any sense of the significance of what's going on, that you're supposed to walk by faith and not by sight? And if you read some parts of the scriptures and certain parts of some books of the Bible, it tells you, you as a slave, you're supposed to obey your master. It tells you also in some scriptures in the, in the Bible that your master can, can, can beat you to to beat you and if you wake up in two days of that nearly death beaten your master don't get in trouble supposed to be huh there's a lot of things in the books some of y'all you ignore it's the, the, in the books that you do you know do you if you understand in certain books it tells you we can go to Genesis chapter 1, verses 27. When God says, let's create man and woman in his image. In his image. So if he says create man and woman in his image, that's in the Christian book, the American way. But when you go to African and start to study the African conception of life, it puts the woman on the same playing field. In certain parts of Africa, the man worshiped the woman as she, not as she is God, but give her the God status because who she is and what she represents. This is why when you deal with the Unk, if any one of y'all got this book, the Unk, it gives you many different definitions. All Unks are not the same. It's because you see an Unk. Look, me, I got several different Unks, but each Unk, it is different from the other one. If you don't understand it, because you gotta get the book to study it. Each uncle is different, it has its own formula, its own meaning. These are symbols that are a thousand years old. 
and we're walking around here and don't appreciate what, what they represent because we believe we were born here in this time frame and then we should just go with this time frame. But here's the catch. Here's the catch. Everybody else can sit up here and claim a land. Even the Indians, the indigenous, they're not even called Indians, but these are the names they've been called over the, over the centuries. But even the indigenous people that was here in South and North America have land, which is this land. They can claim it's theirs, even though it was taken by force. We live on this land. Yes, this is our land. In the last 200 years, our family of generations was born here. But where's our descendants? Huh? We're going to stop at the slave ship. We're going to stop at the slaves. We're going to stop at the ports. We're going to stop at the islands. That's what we're going to do. Another thing. Explain this to me. Explain it to me clearly. Where were we and what did we study before the Bible was put in our face? Before the Bible was put in our face, explain. You ain't gonna tell me nothing. I've got the New World's Translation. Read it, read it, the New World's Translation, okay? I got the NIV, huh? You're not going to tell me nothing. Oh, what? I don't got your old tradition King James Bible? Huh? You're not going to tell me nothing. All I'm trying to tell you is this. Listen, we got to find who we are. AfricanAncestry.com. Look it up. Figure out who we are. What nation in Africa we come from. Then from there, we spill out what, what we need to do. And better yet, we have a better comfort, a comfortness with ourselves. We have comfortness with ourselves and be more comfortable. Then when you see a brother or sister walk around with, with unks on and things like these symbols and things like that, and you see them, you'll be able to recognize these symbols without being afraid because the majority of you are afraid. We're talking about over 30, 40 million black people don't know who they are. I showed you the video in the, other, in, the, in the second clip. 30 to 40 million black people don't know nothing. Even though we can walk around here with, you know, try to find somewhat of identity and we start doing our studies and start going to old scholars, Dr. Ben, Johanahan, Dr. Clark, Phil Valentine, Bobby Hemming. I mean, I'm just throwing a few names out there from the time. And the new generation that we got. The, the new generation, Dr. Reggie, you got um, Cyrus Shudzetti, you got the young guys, the young Pharaoh, and so on and so forth. Now, I just threw these young, the names out there for the time being. You know what I mean? You can look at these guys up. You know what I'm saying? And there's plenty more. All right, the women, you, you got, excuse me, Cyrus Ali, who's been around for a long time. You got documentaries that you can get. Uh, you get the doc documentaries that you can get, uh, like Hidden Colors, one, two, three, and four. Um, documentary Out of the Darkness. Uh, you can get uh, 1804, the Haiti Secret Stories. I mean, let's be real. I'm sure I'm in Rob. I want to say good night. Let's do the right thing. Let's do the right thing. Let's do the right thing.